having some fun having some fun hey guys make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed all right let's go ahead and get things set up for the day my lures of choice are going to definitely be a crankbait I will need a fish head spin All right, so I have two crankbaits on and you know I always have to have my shaky head let me go ahead and take out this a rig just in case because I will be playing around with the mega live while I'm out here Crankbait, and I will need. Might need this wacky rig. All right, that'll be enough to get me started for the day. Let me put this one back up. All right, and get these tied on. All right, just scanning this area, trying to locate some fish. You can see some rocks right there. Nice little ditch. Just looking for some suspended fish. All right, let's see. Might need to just stop and take a look at this with my Mega Live. Just see if I can see anything moving, see any signs of life out here. Let's go ahead and take a look. There we go, people. Got a little keeper spot on the shaky head. Out here still trying to get my network and everything set up so I can really start get started for the day. It is a little after 12 o'clock. Got a late start, but hey, got to make it do what it do when you're out here. All right, guys, let's keep working. All right, you see that little fish right there? I can see these fish sitting out about 30 feet or so from the boat on the Mega Live. It works. All right, now that's a decent spot right there. 
and all I'm doing is just sitting here with my 360 and Mega Live and watching these fish. This one, as you can see, caught it with a wacky rig. I threw that um, crankbait through there a few times, so it's working. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I am looking at on this 360 and the Mega, Mega Live. All right, guys, so basically all I'm doing is running down the bank shallow right now with a crankbait. And this right here, you can see me coming up on that uh, structure. That's basically a lay down. And the way that I know that is um, I can look up here on this uh, the Mega 360 and you'll be able to see that start coming into view in just a second. But um, I may be able to tweak this and get that image a little bit better. But since I have the 360, I'm not really worried about that right now. I just know that I can go ahead and fish that. Um, but that's what I just caught those fish out of. Let me just back off of it just a little bit. And um, I have my range set out at 70. So now that I've found that structure, all I'll do is hit the menu button, come down and change that 70. I'll drop it back down to about 45, let's say 50 feet. Now let's go 45. All right, 45 feet, exit back out of there. And then that will give me a clear, uh, the picture will come in a lot clearer for me now that I've uh, dialed it in a little bit closer. But as you can see, I'll get a little closer. And um, now I can see the, the fish moving around in there. I'll be able to see the, um, the tree itself. And then let me just get over here so I can show you on the 360. All right, there we go. So now you can see that tree. And actually, I'm coming right on top of that tree right now. So you can see all the branches and everything right there. And there's some fish in there. That's basically where I was catching those fish at. So watch this right here, guys. So as it is coming under the boat, I have my sonar set up. And then you can see it show up right here on sonar as it goes behind the boat, guys. pretty impressive for me I, I really like that feature I can see how it would definitely help me out on the water all right let me keep on practicing I'm out here at Clark's, Clark's Hill trying to figure out a few things haven't caught anything big yet but let's keep on keep on working see what we can find out oh here's another lay down coming up right here look at that one right there now that lay down is big let me back off of that and so that's another reason why you want to set your distance off a little further farther maybe like 60 70 feet so when you start seeing those images come into play then you can use this 360 you see a tree right there a tree right there and that way you won't run on top of it and you can still fish that uh structure before you get to it Simple as that guys, simple as that. So I just finished showing you what I was doing on that, uh, on the Mega Live and the 360. Cash right in there, caught another one. This is a keeper, but like I said, I'm catching numbers, but haven't found anything big yet. Catching numbers, but not anything big yet. All right guys, having some fun out here, Clark's Hill. All right, I'm sitting right on top of that big lay down brush pile, whatever you want to call it. I just went over it with the Mega Live. I'm sitting right on top of it. I have this set out at 60 feet. You can see some other fish, and there was some structure out there. Let me just spin this around real quick. So there you go. Now you can see it on Mega Live. And again, remember, I have on that persistence view. That's what that purple haze is right there. Um, I just use that to give me a fuller image and to see if there's any fish or anything like that moving around inside of that brush pile. All right, just wanted to give you guys a few more, uh, few more screenshots, something to take a look at.
All right, there's some fish right there moving. So you can see those fish are coming towards the boat. All right, there we go. I just showed you the image of that brush pile right next to the down scan. Pull the fish right out of it. Um, let me see if I can get a view so you guys can actually see all of the fish that are moving around down there. They chase the bait whenever I drop it down. All right, check it out, guys. Down imaging, there's a lay down right there. Well, a brush pile. You can see the branches and everything over here. Let me just kind of move this around a little bit. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. All right, there we go. Now check that out. Now let's see if I can drop this right down there. All right, there we go. See my bait falling right down into that brush pile. All right, guys, mega live. Like I got one of my fellow rod benders over there watching me. <laughs> this is a decent fish. There we go. Now that is a nice spotted bass right there. Look at that. All right, guys, having some fun, having some fun. Hey, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. I appreciate all the support. We are growing, guys. Check out the numbers. Check out the comments. I really appreciate everybody staying involved. All right, guys, let's keep working.